the packing cubes are out, the wash bag is out, the Disney ears are out. It is time to pack with me for Disneyland Paris. I am so excited. Hey guys, so I have no makeup on. We're super casual vlogging today. I had to work this morning, unfortunately. Didn't have enough annual leave to take today off. Today is Monday, so I am just home. After work today, I got my nails done. So these are my nails. The, the art's really, really subtle. So I don't know if you'll really be able to see it or not. But I've got the Disneyland Paris, the 30 logo, which is like a 30, but it's also a Mickey head and some stars on a sort of iridescent so we did a pink and a purple ombre and then a chrome across them because obviously the Disneyland Paris 38th stuff is very much sort of pinky purple so those are my nails I got them done today uh, I got my hair done last week not that you could obviously tell because it's been rained on today but I'm going to do a full Olaplex tonight and blow dry my hair and whatever so this is my prep and pack with me for Disney I keep saying Disney it's technically Disney and Paris, but the Disney part starts the holiday off. So we travel tomorrow and then we're in Disneyland and Paris on Wednesday and Thursday and then we're in Paris Friday to Saturday and then we travel home on Sunday. Let's get on into it. Now I have obviously got a little pile here of things that I've been pulling together and that I'm going to possibly wear. So I think what I'll do is start with the clothing. That's kind of the easiest thing. Once I've got the clothing into the packing cubes, it's the stuff that actually takes time for me is picking all my skincare and my beauty bits and all of that jazz. So let's do clothing first. It is due to rain every single day that we're away so we started with visions of nice dresses and whatever and have finally had to admit we're just going to be in jeans and boots and jumpers and jackets for the whole time. I used to be an ASOS Ridley girl for jeans. They have been discontinued. I did try the new ASOS, I think they're called like the ultimate high waist skinny jeans or something but I don't like them as much as I like the Ridleys. This is the sort of next alternative that I've found. I bought the blue ones first because my blue jeans were ripped so they needed replaced and then my black ones ripped as well so I've bought the same ones and these are from Noisy Me so I will link them down below. If you like Taste Osh Ridley jeans they're basically the same thing. The only thing is the pockets are decorative and um, they're not functional which is vaguely annoying for putting like your phone or whatever into your pocket but if you like the, the Ridley jeans and don't like the new alternatives, I would recommend these from Noisy Me. What I've got here are black jeans and I'm planning to wear my black jeans travelling. I've got this t-shirt which is actually from the Disneyland Paris 25th anniversary and that is what that looks like when it's out. Um, so I'm going to wear that t-shirt but whether you'll actually see the t-shirt or not I don't know. So you can see there it says Disneyland Paris 25. Over the top of the t-shirt I'm going to wear my Star Wars spirit jersey that I got in Florida back in 2019. So that is my travelling outfit for tomorrow. Then the next outfit I have planned is the other day I'm going to wear my black jeans in the park that's just a black vest top and a black polo neck jumper. So my plan here is based around these ears. So I really wanted to wear these ears to meet Phantom Manor Mickey who has quite similar colours on to these ears. I thought they went together. I'll just wear the plain black with these ears and I'm going to take a lipstick that's a similar colour to this. Now I've got for the part days because it is going to be raining this Olaf Pacamac. I got this to go to Florida in 2015. Obviously it's not really something I get much wear out of at home because it's pretty loud. So it's really only been worn for like a couple of days in a park even though I've had it for absolutely ages. But that's going to go with me for my park days. So I'm just going to take that off when I'm getting my picture with Phantom Mickey. That is the plan for this outfit. Then for my second park day, blue jeans, this t-shirt here which is a Disneyland Paris t-shirt. And then over the top just to layer up. It's not going to be cold whilst we're away. It's going to be wet but it's looking like between 15 and 17 degrees every day. So I am going to try and just take layers. I'm very aware that even though that's not cold it's not super warm. And also like if you guys have been to Disney you know what it's like. You need to get your spot for parades and shows and whatever well ahead of time. So you can be just standing outside for quite a long period of time. You're not moving to like keep yourself warm so... I don't expect that I'm going to be freezing but I do think I'm going to need layers and need the option to be warm. So jeans, t-shirt, jumper, pack a mac. Um, this jumper is actually from Uniqlo. I got it when I was in Disney World in 2019 at Disney Springs so that is 
another park day outfit. For travelling home I'm planning to wear my blue jeans and this Donald Duck jumper. So those are my two travel day outfits and my two park day outfits. In terms of accessories I'm going to take those ears as I said for going with that outfit and I think my classic ears are really the best shout for this outfit. Only with Disney holidays do you plan in your ears. And then for my park days I am obviously as I said I'll be wearing my Olaf Pack-a-Mac. I have got this little drawstring bag that I got in obviously Disney World in 2017 and this is really well designed as you would maybe expect from being in a, a proper park bag because it's got this zip at the side so in terms of putting my vlogging camera which I'm holding just now in and being able to access it but put it away quickly this is really useful so this is the bag that I am taking bag pack mac classic ears purple ears I think I'm probably going to put gloves and possibly a hat in as well just to have them should I need them. I just got my hat and gloves so my little Mickey Mouse hat and gloves. These gloves are quite useful because they're fingerless so again can just pop them back for like vlogging if I need to focus the camera or whatever and I think the blue will kind of tone in with the the pack mac I've also just pulled out, this is my Newsies hoodie. I got this in London, which if you get a chance to go see Newsies in London, it is amazing. But I think I'm just going to take that to give me an extra layer on the day that I'm wearing the black jumper. So I think that's me sorted for park and travel days. So I'll maybe try and get all of this into a packing cube. Travel outfit for tomorrow is here. Most of it's in the packing cube other than the bag, the ears. I just want to show you this. I got this on Etsy ahead of going to Florida in 2019 and it's an ear holder. There's like various, you know, characters and whatever. Obviously I've gone for Softer Mickey. So it's just a little button here and you put your ears in and then you snap it closed. If I want to take my ears off to put my hat on, which I've packed into there, I can just clip that onto my bag and it means my ears don't get squashed in my bag or whatever and it looks really really cute. So basically the issue is this, the Olaf Pack Mac, fine for the parks, not fine for Paris. I, I feel like I need to pack for two different holidays here. What I'm thinking of doing shoe wise is taking my black gym trainers, they're kind of at the end of their life but they're not going to die on this holiday, to wear the days that I'm wearing my black jeans. The only thing is they are like black running trainers so they've got kind of like net across the top or whatever so my feet will get wet in them. So that's not ideal but it's basically that are my snow boots. So I'm thinking I'm taking the boots anyway because I'm probably going to wear them with blue jeans and I'm thinking I'm probably just going to take them and then assess how bad the rain actually is before deciding whether to wear the black trainers or the boots with the black jeans. My snow boots are brown. That's what I'm thinking shoe wise for those outfits is probably travelling in my trainers. It would probably make more sense to travel in the boots because they're the heaviest obviously but probably travelling in my trainers. I know it's going to be wet but depending on how wet it is, like what that actually means in practice when we're there, whether I can deal with wet feet or not on the days. But for actual Paris, so my thought process here is that I will maybe take this coat. This coat here from Miss Candy Floss. If you watched my pack with me for Dublin back in December during my Vlogmas, I wore this coat. And the good thing about this coat is it's so long you really can't see what I have on underneath. So I'm thinking for the Paris days. Now the only thing about this coat, and you can kind of see it here, it has gone so bobbly. I wore this coat when I was in Dublin in December for two days. Then I wore it again when I went to Dublin in February for two days. Four days of actually wearing it and you can see, you know, it's really bobbly at the front and I don't know if you can really see it on the sleeve but it's all bobbly like off the edges of the sleeve. It's bobbled very, very quickly. So I'm not thrilled with that for how expensive it was, particularly because I had customs on top of, well I didn't have it, my gran bought me it for Christmas, but it, it was a lot of money once you put the customs and everything on, and I feel like it's bobbled really, really quickly. I did read a thing that said the quicker it bobbles actually the better, because sometimes it's like the excess wool working its way out and once it's out it won't bobble anymore, so I'm kind of hoping that that's what it is, but can you see like all at the side and everything there. It just looks so worn. So I will need to give this a good shave. But that is my thought process, is maybe my Grenson boots, two midi dresses and this coat for Paris. I'm kind of thinking I might just try and beehive my hair most days. The thing at the, at the park days, my Olaf Pack-a-Mac has a hood. For somebody who lives in Scotland, I don't have a lot of coats with hoods. Um, It's a bit ridiculous. I don't, don't really know why. 
but it is what it is. So I'm thinking the days will go to Paris, I might put my hair in a beehive and that way if it gets rained on, like, it's not ideal but it's not going to go, like, the way my hair is right now from having been rained on in Glasgow. And I did have a hood today but, you know, that way when it's wet, like, you can never really fully get away with it. I have a really cute Kate Spade parka. I'm sure I'll have shown you guys it before. That's black with pink flowers and it's got a hood with a pink fur around the side. And I would have possibly worn that but we're going to a Dior exhibition at the Dior shop and I just feel like I want to look a little bit more chic than that for going to the Dior exhibition. Like, if we weren't doing that, I would wear that coat with jeans, trainers and two different jumpers both days. But I feel like just for the Dior day, I want to be a little bit more chic. So I'm thinking like a midi dress, my Grenson boots and that green coat for the Dior day. And then if I'm taking the coat to wear it that day, I may as well wear it. The other day in Paris, there's not really any point in packing another coat to wear that just because it's a bit more casual or whatever. So that's my thought process. So let me give that coat a bit of a shave. Okay, there we go. So it's not, it's not perfect, but it's uh, vastly improved. This is what has come off, which is quite, it doesn't look like a lot when I'm holding it, but it's, a lot when you think about the fact it's made up of like little bits that are like this kind of size um but i think i will need to pack the fabric shaver because i'm going to take that coat for my paris days so coat is in here i'm going to take these two midi dresses so this top one is from oliver bonus so i bought that when i went to dublin last year and the bottom one was an old top shop one from when Topshop were still a physical shop on the high street, so neither of them are new. But those are the two midi dresses I'm going to take for the Paris days. I'm going to wear them with my Grenson boots. So because my socks will show over the top, I've got this pinky pair. These are Lulu Guinness socks to go with this one. And then these were Topshop socks actually as well. Um, they've got a little bee on them, which I'm going to wear with the green dress. So that will be my Paris wardrobe sorted. Paris clothes, park clothes my zipper and then my underwear and socks. This stuff needs to go in the case. That is my traveling outfit. And then I have my snow boots and my Grenson boots. Let's start by getting this stuff into the case. So that's all in no problem. I think I'm going to take my Lulu Guinness Queenie bag for the Paris days. I've got my little drawstring bag that I showed you earlier for the park days. Um, but I think this is kind of the best thing to wear with the green coat and the brown boots. I really, it's not a very big bag. I could see me ending up with a tote bag as well because it doesn't take a lot this bag. I feel like I really could be doing with like a brown bag to kind of match these boots that's still a nice bag but a bit more casual than this and probably a bit roomier possibly. Something to keep an eye out for maybe for my birthday or something. But anyway these are the accessories so Paris bag, park bag, ears, fabric shaver for my coat because undoubtedly after one day of wearing it, it'll have loads of new fluff and I'll want to, to do it again. So that's the accessories. Almost was going without pyjamas there, so I have remembered pyjamas. That's them there. I think let's do my makeup first because I think that's a bit easier. I've got my project pan stuff. That's definitely going. So that gives me my primer and my foundation. So I need concealer and powder. Then my highlight from my project pan and this blush. So I need lip products. I want to also take more of a peachy blush for the days that I'm wearing my green coat going into Paris. So concealer, powder, peachy blush, eye makeup, brow makeup, lip makeup. Let's do it. So base wise, Chanel primer, L'Oreal foundation, taking my Tarte concealer. Then I'm taking this hourglass powder. This is a loose powder though. So I'm also going to take this Fenty Beauty one um, because this is a press powder so obviously better for taking out and touching up with. I've got my Beauty Pie concealer, uh, not concealer, corrector for my under eyes and my brow products are the MAC Penny Pencil and Gel. I am adding in my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer just to give me a liquid one and more of a cream concealer. I'm taking this Shantikai False Lash Mascara. It's nothing special but it's it's open at the moment. I'm also taking my eyelash curlers. Technically a tool but not really an applicator so 
and putting them in just now while I remember. And then for my blush when I don't want the pink blush from the Hourglass palette, it feels a bit ridiculous that I'm taking that full palette just for that one pinky blush but the things you do when you're project panning. I'm going to take this blush from the Colourpop Disney collaboration, so it's the Belle one. Um, and it's just a bit more neutral. I'm going to take those, so that gives me a pink blush and a neutral blush. The same highlight will do. I've got my full base there, um, so primer, concealer, corrector, foundation, powder. Eyebrows are there, eyelashes are there. Then for eye makeup, I'm not going to be doing anything too fancy. The pigment in this Morphe palette is really quite good. Um, so I'm probably only going to use like these four shades here to do a really neutral eye. Pretty much every day that I'm away my eyes are quite tender at the moment. They've been really irritated recently so I don't want to go too heavy but probably just a bit of this all over and this through the crease just to kind of knock out the redness. Um, and this palette's nice and slim and whatever for travelling with so it's quite a good one. So that really just leaves me with lips. Okay so lip products wise, um, what I have swatched here from bottom to top is... Guerlain 1830, Guerlain number 30, 1830 was limited edition, number 30 was from the old matte formula so you can't get either of those anymore and then the liquid lipstick that's at the top of those two swatches is Too Faced Gingerbread Man so those I think are my Paris Day options. Then the two reds that are kind of next to the two gingerbreads, the bottom one is Too Faced Lady Balls, the one up at the top there is um, ABH Sarah Fine and then the next one to Lady Balls is ABH American Doll. I think in terms of classic Disney ABH American Doll is winning that one. Up above that, the kind of shiny one, um, that is Guerlain number three. It was in my project pan last year so you'll be familiar with it if you're not new around here. I think I'm going to take that just maybe in case my lips are getting a bit dried out after liquid lipsticks and whatever so that maybe the second Paris day um, it's something that's a bit easier to wear. And then these ones at the top, so this one nearest me here, this is Urban Decay White Walker. Up above that I've got Chanel Rouge Au Dust. And then next to that I've got Marc Jacobs Boy Gorgeous. So I was swatching those three to see which one would match the ears the best and I think it is the Urban Decay White Walker which was my first instinct. So I think we're going White Walker, ABH American Doll, Guerlain number three. And then I don't know down here, I like all three of these actually, but I think maybe maybe 1830 Rouge de Tique. I would quite like my souvenir from Paris to be one of the Guerlain lipstick cases, so it would be quite nice to take that, wear that that day and buy a new case for it as my Paris souvenir. So yeah, I think 1830 from Guerlain is the the one I'll take for my Paris day. So lipstick choices narrowed down. I've also picked out liners. So I've got a KVD liner to go with the ABH. I've got Colourpop Notion to go with the Urban Decay White Walker. This is a Chanel one. I think it's just called, yep, literally called Natural to go with Guerlain number three. Lisa Eldridge Dragon to go with Guerlain 1830. And to go with the two Guerlain lipsticks, Although I have said I'm planning to hopefully get one as my Paris souvenir, I am taking this case from Guerlain which is called Tweed in Paris so it seems like the appropriate one to pack. So you guys will know if you've watched my pack with me's before. So that's me got my base together. So I basically chuck it all out and then repack it with the brush so that nothing goes in without the brush that I need to apply it with. So first of all primer, I actually don't need a brush so that can go in. Corrector and my MAC concealer, they're going in and my ABH number 14 brush is going in to use with them. Um, then I've got my Tarte concealer and to go with that I'm going to take one of my Beauty Pie sponges. So there we are, fresh sponge going in to use with the concealer. Then in terms of my foundation, I'm going to take, this is a Zoeva 102 buffing brush. So I'm taking that to put my foundation on with. Powder, I've got the Hourglass Mineral Veil and I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush to put my powder on with. Then I'm going to pack this. This has got a sponge in it so I will just use the sponge when I'm topping up with it. Lipsticks I'm not going to need an applicator for so they can just go in. Let's get all of them in. Um, and I also don't need an applicator for mascara 
or brow products so they can go in. I am taking my sharpener for my lip pencils or well we do eye pencils but I'm not taking any eye pencils. This is the Glossier Play Sharpener. If you ever see any of these like these are so good it got discontinued and it's a really useful sharpener so gutted that it got discontinued but if you ever see one hanging about somewhere in like TK Maxx or something grab it great sharpener put my eyelash curlers in so the only things I actually need any more brushes for eye brushes so I basically just want fluffy ones and maybe one sort of flat one there we go so a couple of MAC 217s and um, some from my Katie Jean Hughes set so one sort of small domed flat brush and then just three sort of fluffy brushes to blend with that will do for Whatever eye makeup I'm going to be doing. Highlight brush, pack my Spectrum number 8 brush to go with the highlight and then two blush brushes so I will pack, this is my MAC 168 can go with that one, my other 168 must need washed it's not here. I will take this old Real Techniques one as well to do it with the other blush. Okay that felt weirdly easy, that seems to be my face, I bet I'm missing something really obvious but I think I'm covered so that is my face and all the brushes that I need. In fact, you know what I'll maybe do? It? I'll put a lip balm in here as well. I'll stick this mini of the Dr. Lip Nipple Balm. I am not planning to go to the airport tomorrow with makeup on. I'm just planning to pack this all and I will do my makeup once we arrive in Paris. So this can go in the case now. For hair, my plan is to do a full Olaplex tonight. Do like the number zero, the number three, wash it, condition it, blow dry it and I'm hoping then not to need to wash it again until we're back on Sunday. So the first thing I'm obviously taking Olaplex dry shampoo and that will hopefully keep it fresh for the rest of the week. Tools wise then I've got like a wet brush, well it's, it's the dry bar one but it's essentially like the same as the wet brush and then I'm taking my Diva curling wand, I'll link it down below, this is a smaller size curling wand so my plan is I'm not going to curl it before I go, I'm just going to blow dry it, it never holds a curl when it's been freshly washed anyway so I'll just travel with it having been blow dried, I'll use a round brush to try and get as much volume as I can in it to give it a nice like starting point but I'll just pack my curling tong and I'll curl it tomorrow when we arrive so that's my smaller curling tong and I'll have that for brushing it out with and my dry shampoo for keeping it fresh. Also taking my texture spray just to give it a little bit of grip and hold and texture obviously. Then for the Paris days for doing the beehive this will also be relevant to give it a bit of something to start with. I've got my back combing brush and then my back combing comb and then obviously all the Kirby grips in the world. And then because I will be back combing it and whatever I'm also packing, this is from Dry Bar and it's their dry conditioner. After I come back at night and let it out of the beehive, I'll give it a good spray through with this to kind of relax out of the back combing and to just put a bit of good condition back into it. So that is my hair stuff. There we have all my clothing, my makeup, my hair stuff. So skincare, toiletries and that's pretty much us. This has felt much easier than it should have done. I feel like I must be missing something really obvious but so far so good. In terms of proper toiletries, so I got a new deodorant for going so that I can go. Then I've got my little thing here for my toothbrush. I've got a little travel toothpaste in there but obviously I need to brush my teeth tonight and tomorrow so that will go in the last minute but I think that's the only real toiletries I'm taking. Like I trust the hotel to provide shower gel so that's the only toiletries. So on to skincare, I've got my Garnier Micellar Water and my Drunk Elephant Makeup Removing Balm for my cleansers. Hydrating Serum, Daytime Vitamin C, Nighttime Vitamin C, that is an eye mask and then an eye SPF, so daytime, nighttime essentially for eyes and that is my face SPF. What I really need is essentially a moisturiser and then if I want to take any masks basically. So I'm thinking it maybe wouldn't hurt to possibly take some of these like something just to give me a bit of an exfoliation and these are pretty travel friendly so I might actually just take them to be my exfoliator. So let me see if I've got any travel size moisturisers in here and possibly any nice masks that might be nice to take. There we go, I was hoping I would have those. Sizzly Black Rose Mask and also the Sizzly Velvet Sleeping Mask. So put that in there. I think what I'll probably do is put this. In fact, do I have the blue one? I did have a mini of the blue one, but I might have finished it. 
Yeah, I think I finished it. So I will put this in my hand luggage, I think, and use that one on the plane. But yeah, I'll take that to have a sort of deep hydration mask at night. Let's get a moisturiser. Oh no, maybe it's there. I do have the blue one. Right, what I'll do, I'll put the blue one in, into my hand luggage and I will put that, I will pack that one. And then for moisturiser, I'll take this little mini of the Sunday Riley CEO. So yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much me covered for skincare. It might be nice to have a sort of declogging mask to do when we arrive. Let me have a look through my sheet masks. Okay, so from my sheet mask bag, I'm putting in these Patchology eye patches and this charcoal sheet mask. So I'm thinking this will be good to do maybe like the first night to get all the plain gunk out. Then I've obviously I've got my exfoliator, so hopefully I shouldn't get too congested while I'm away. And these might just be nice to have because my under eyes are very dry and irritated at the moment. But I think that's all my skincare. Contact lenses, allergy tablets. I think that's pretty much me good to go. There we are. So one last packing cube with the sort of random stuff, pyjamas, tablets, contact lenses, etc. Skincare is all in here. Um, this can actually get put in here just now. That can just get shoved in in the morning. I'm going to put my ears into this bag and then lay them on the top. There we are. So ears are in this bag and they can get laying flat here. All fits in, zips up, no problems at all in this top half of the case. Is empty. I'm not obviously planning to buy very much because I am doing a no buy this year so it's only souvenirs. I'm not coming back with like new handbags or anything like that. So I feel like that will be more than enough for what I'm going to buy, whatever that may be. Um, I've got my little Mickey Mouse luggage tag and also my Chanel ribbons so all very Disneyland and Paris appropriate. And in the morning I need to remember to put my toothbrush into this and put this in. Then I think this doesn't, this bag really does not match with my travelling outfit but what I might do is take this bag and then take like my Daunt Books tote bag, maybe my green one because that would go with my green coat for the days we go into Paris and I can put this in that bag if need be. This will be going in my case. This is my travelling outfit. In my actual hand luggage, so obviously I will have this camera and I need to charge this camera tonight and then put the charger into the case in the morning. Um, and obviously I will have my phone and my phone charger. But in addition to that, so phone, camera, my purse, I've taken my little sizzly mask, passport obviously, hand sanitizer, and then that's like tickets or holiday taxi voucher etc. I feel like I surely need something else in my hand luggage but I mean I can pretty much amuse myself with my phone and my headphones so it'll be fine and obviously I'm going with Lauren so I'm going to chat to her and it's not a very long flight or anything so yeah I'll take my tote bag. My book that I'm reading is on my Kindle which is on my phone so I don't need to take an actual book and I always take a book and then don't read it anyway so you know probably just as well having it on my phone. So the only thing I think that I've not confronted yet, that sounds very dramatic, you guys know how I like perfume. So that's the only thing I've not packed because I've not picked, well, that's a lie. I sort of know what perfume I want to pack, right? But it's a bit ridiculous. But also I've got half an empty case. So, you know, basically I've got perfumes I want to smell the days that we're in Paris, so I'm not planning to wear perfume those days. And the travel days, I will take the opportunity to smell something at the airport and put it on my skin, obviously. So it's really only the two days that we're at Disneyland that I'm actually possibly going to wear a perfume that I would bring. But the perfume I want to bring is Insolence, or Insolence, if you want to say it in a cool French accent, by Guerlain. So this is a really violety smell. It's quite a sort of fun, frivolous scent within my collection. And it also, so if you guys have seen the film Meet Me in St. Louis with Judy Garland, they used the trolley song at the Disney parks, which is from that film. But also in that film, there is a scene where she's wearing this essence of violet and the guy that she likes, the next door neighbor, it's like, oh yeah, my grandmother wears that and she's like so put out by it. So I feel like I associate, because that's such a violety perfume, I associate it with that film. It's so funny that his grandmother wears it, but I feel like it's such a sort of fun, sort of playful perfume to me, to my perception of it. But obviously in the film, he's associating it with his grandmother. It means the, the perfume is associated with the film because of the violets. 
and then Disney is also associated with the film so it feels like it's the right perfume to take but it also feels a bit ridiculous to take it to wear for two days but I'm probably going to do it probably being ridiculous but probably going to do it nonetheless see these are my sample perfumes which would obviously all be more sensible to take size wise but I don't think so I've got Ker Guerlain um, Cui Beluga and Bois d'Arbonne both beautiful but not just not Disney do you know what I mean then Guerlain Eau de Cashmere Eau de Lingerie Eau de Lis none of them are quite right for Disney this could be Gucci Flora that's quite a fun one maybe if I was being sensible that's what I would take yeah because I feel like none of the rest of these are really that's um, Ambre Nui by Dior uh, this is Peace uh, of Lee by Guerlain. It's like a men's one actually, I think, really more than a women's. Well, I suppose everything is unisex, but it doesn't really scream Disneyland Paris carefree trip. Louis Vuitton Nuit de Fée. Beautiful smell. Absolutely. Like, I want a full size of this, but not a Disneyland Paris smell. So, yeah, I feel like vaguely ridiculous, but probably taking this entire bottle but I feel like I packed fairly well otherwise so like maybe one ridiculous thing is fine then I've got everything here into this bag no problem so yeah it's basically time to do my Olaplex wash my hair blow dry it well I think what I'll maybe do is actually leave the number three on overnight then wash and blow dry it in the morning and that's me pretty much good to go so thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it's been really noisy in the background. Other people are in my house because it's night time because I had to work today. So sorry if there's been background noise, but I'm gonna start my Olaplex treatment, put this camera on to charge, put my phone on to charge as well. I will see you in my next video, which depending on how my upload schedule goes, may well be at the airport for traveling to Paris. So I will see you in whatever video comes next. It might be that one, and if it's not that one, do look out for that one coming. Bye!